All right, everybody, this is a guided walkthrough for the Bandit CTF, for Bandit CTF Labs, uh, which are available on overthewire.org. So Bandit is a CTF game, uh, CTF war game, that is aimed at absolute beginners. So basically what Bandit is, is a series of challenges where you have to use Linux skills to gain access to, um, to a password. And the password that you find on any individual level is going to give you access to the next level. So for example, if you go to the um, bandit level zero, when you solve bandit level zero, it's gonna give you the password for bandit level one. And on bandit level one, you're gonna get the password for bandit level two, et cetera, et cetera. So the way we access bandit is through using the SSH program. The SSH program is, um, is a secure way of accessing remote servers that is to say that it uh, lets you log into computers that are not your computer. And we, we're going to be accessing it via um, terminal access. And terminal access means that uh, we only have a command prompt. Basically, we can only type into the terminal to give it commands. So let's, uh, let's talk a little bit more about this over here. So bandit zero. What we're going to do first is we're going to access the server. So on Bandit Zero, first we need to access the server using the SSH program. First thing we need to do to complete the Bandit CTF challenge is to use the SSH program to log in. So we're going to log in to the, to the server, and we're going to use this command over here. So let's go ahead and access a, uh, a Linux terminal. So just so everybody can play along, I'm going to, use, I'm going to be using this terminal over here from js linux and i'll provide the link to the machine over here can i make this bigger can i make this bigger i can make it bigger okay okay so so after you get access to the uh to the linux machine over here we're going to do this command so it's going to be ssh and it's going to be bandit zero and this is the username. Bandit0 is the username. We're going to specify a server by using the at symbol here, and then the uh, the address of the server, which is bandit.labs.overthewire.org. The last thing we need to do is we have to specify a, a networking port to communicate with the server at, and that's going to be dash p space 2220. After we give this command, it's going to see connection reset by peer. Let's try this again. So sometimes it takes a couple of tries. OK, so now it says the authenticity of the hosts, this host over here, can't be established. Uh, it gives us a, um, a fingerprint. Are you sure you want to continue connecting? We want to answer yes. So because we haven't accessed this um, server before, we need to verify we want to access it. Type in yes, hit enter, and then we have to give a password. So the password for this level is going to be bandit zero. So that's the same as the username that we provided up here. So type in bandit zero and then hit enter. While we're entering the password, we're not going to see any, any uh, feedback from the terminal here. That's, that's intentional. So just type it in and then hit enter. And then we're going to get access. OK, so I'm going to make the terminal a little smaller. And then go up, let's scroll up a little bit. OK, so anytime we access the terminal like this uh, and we find that the screen is a little bit cluttered, we can clear the screen with the clear command. So just type in the word clear and then hit enter. OK, That's this is what we want. OK, so let's talk a little bit about what we're going to be doing in this level of the game. So the first thing we did was we used the SSH program to log into the server as the Bandit Zero user. After that, 
we're asked if we want to continue connecting, we need to type in yes and then hit enter to confirm that we want to connect. So then we're going to then we're asked to enter the user's password. We type in bandit0 and then press enter. So while we're typing in the password, you're not going to see any feedback from the terminal. This is normal. This is um, normal from any Linux terminal. Okay, so the next thing we need to do to complete the level is to access the directory's contents. So each, each location inside of um, a file system is called a directory. And in Linux, we can use the ls command to list out the contents of the directory. So when we use it here, we see the readme file. So we can go ahead and run the ls command. So just type in ls, hit enter. And it says here that there is the readme file in here. So this is the contents of the directory. ls gives you the contents of the directory. So what do we need to do with this file? So what we're going to do is we're going to read the file by using another essential Linux command, and that's the cat command. OK, so to read a file with the cat command, we just need to type in the word cat and then space and then the name of the file. So the name of the file in this case is readme. So we're just going to do cat space readme and then hit enter. So we get this output over here. Congratulations on your first steps into the Bandit game. Please make sure you read the rules over at this website over here. If you're following a course, workshop, walkthrough, or other educational activity, please inform the instructor about the rules as well and encourage them to contribute to the Overwire community so we can keep these games free. The password you're looking for is this. So everybody, this is the password for the next level. On each one of these um, Bandit CTF levels, the goal is to get access to this password here. Not necessarily this password, but the password for the next level. And we're currently working as the bandit zero user. So this is the password for the bandit one user. So we can go ahead and copy this and then we can record it somewhere. So the command to read a file in Linux is the cat command. So the cat command syntax is gonna be cat space file name. For example, cat, sp cat space readme. So this is how we read a file inside of Linux. So in the contents of the file, we see the password for the next level, which we will use to SSH, which we will use with SSH to log in as the Bandit One user. Okay, so everybody, this was a guided walkthrough for the Bandit Zero level from OverTheWire.org. If you enjoyed this guided walkthrough, please click on the like and subscribe buttons on the video and leave a comment underneath the video. But until next time, Hacker Frogs out. Hey there, Hacker Frogs. Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel, and it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.